it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be putting together the Nutcracker. He's 33 inches long. And this one's different because normally the black background is also the background as well as an outline. This time there is no outline. All the colors go all the way to the edge. So we're actually going to have a very, very, very seamless... Um, seamless off the mat character for the first time because normally it's just the edges that have the little seams and we have like maybe an inch of seams like total but um it's different this time so let's get started I'm kind of excited all right so this is the front side of the nutcracker I guess you know what it doesn't matter we can just tape him as is because everything's going to be sitting on top so the pants are a little bit funky because I realized we must have trimmed him off a little bit. Um, but that's okay because we have the colors sitting on top. So let's just make sure. So this is, or maybe his legs are skinny like that. Hold on, let me scroll down. <laughs> um, I don't know what to make of it. We'll see in a second when we put this together. It looks like his legs are very skinny though. <laughs> All right, so let's take this off. Um, and, oh, you know what? I think his legs go in the middle like this. That's what it is, okay. So he has a little bit, um, or I wonder if it goes all the way like this. All right, so that's how we're gonna do it. So what you're gonna need is tape, and I just had it here, here we go. Um, I like using tape, double-sided tape, and um, the tape runner. I have my glue, my glue gun running, um, because that's gonna help us with the foam board. Okay, so now let's just tape all the pieces together. Like I said, this is the first time, so don't watch this one and think that this is how you're supposed to do the black background. Um, for all your projects. This is very different because all the colors are sitting on top. So I'm just going to tape it down like this and tape it up here like this. Okay, so we're gonna start piecing him together. I have him on another screen so that I can see what he looks like. I'm doing this for the first time. So let's see, I'm gonna move him down a little bit more so you can see the top. So here's his top. I did do his hat and glitter cardstock. Um, so let's see all our pieces. This. Here are his pants. Why does his pants go like this? I'm not sure which side is which. <laughs> so we'll see if it makes a difference. Now, if you were if you watched the design space tutorial with me, this one really threw me for a loop as well because um, the pieces didn't um, they weren't all sliced out perfectly, so we had to slice it out as we were doing it. But it's good practice because it's not the first time that I've seen it, it's just the first time that I've seen it and decided to continue with the project. So um, it's good practice for design space though. Okay, so you see how all the pieces go all the way to the edge? That's what I was talking about. So we're not gonna have any black showing unless it's meant to show, which is like the hat, for instance. So you see how all the seams are being covered up by the colored pieces. And you see the face right here? So, it, you know, 
this could have been sliced out, right? But um, all the pieces are kind of small, so it was okay. All right, so we have gold stripes going down his pants. Um, maybe this goes over here. Okay, not really sure where that goes. Um, See, this is his little collar. So you see like even the blue right here, it's coming up a little bit. So I think the face goes over it like that. So we're gonna have to be careful when we're piecing this together that we know our layers so nothing sticks out where it shouldn't. Um, he's got a little dot here. We have this little buckle, but I'm not sure where it goes. Let me scroll down and see. Oh, these are the sleeves. Okay. So you see, it is looking very seamless, but it's going to be difficult to um, to apply this because we need to make sure everything has a place to where it fits so um, all right so we have that let's see we have his eyes I feel like I'm missing some pieces hold on This is a lot of layering right here. It's gonna be cute, but oh man, just his eyes alone. Okay. Um, let's see. I see his cheeks. And his nose. Just knocked everything over. That's okay. Um, let's see. I still have these two. Oh, these are his hands. So the hands go over. Okay. And you see how his hair goes under. Gonna come out a little bit like that. Okay, need to figure out the pants stripes. Um, are we almost done? Oh, we're missing this. Okay. So, oh, and we're missing a little dot here. We have two little gold buckles that go somewhere. Oh, his belt. Um, let's see. You know what? I think I'm missing. Hold on. Let's see his little eye. All right. All right. So those are all the pieces. So let's see. What do we have here? What are we missing? He has a belt buckle. That's not it though, hold on. Okay, 
let's see what we have here. Okay, this definitely goes down a little bit more. And see how we have a seam right here? It's kind of hard to see, but this will sit directly on top of it. See, this needs to be placed perfectly. Otherwise, we're going to have, so I almost feel like we should do maybe from the bottom up and that will help us make sure that we're um, putting this in the right place. The jacket's a good part to start because the white X's, they go up to the corner as well as his gold shoulders. So that would be a good place for us to start piecing this together. Now right here, what is going on with this? I feel like I'm missing, I'm missing something. <laughs> What did I do with the design that made it like this? Let's see, let me scroll down and see. So we have the pants. He has a belt buckle that should go right here. And that would be a little buckle that goes here but I have an extra one. Oh, I see. This is what it is. It's a double belt buckle and it's missing the black piece. And then this blue is missing. It should have been all blue right here. So I need to recut this because that's not right. And then I need to I must have been missing a black piece somewhere here because it goes right here and here. So just be careful when you're doing this. When I was slicing, I must have just missed that. So let's look at the bottom of these. Okay, so this needs to go like this. I know it fits like and then the blue should cut through like that all right so let's start piecing this together um, like I said I think it's important to start here from going down so let's do let's do these shoulder pieces because we know where it's supposed to go um, and I'm just gonna take scratch paper and this is kind of good for us anyway. It's good practice um, for when you cut something. So this design I struggled with to begin with because it was big shapes. And so like the red went all the way up when it didn't need to. So I think in the slicing portion of it, I lost the belt and I lost the blue piece. So we'll go back to do that, but we can still piece this together and then fix that afterwards. Um, so I'm going to use my favorite, it's the Tombow Glue Runner. Okay. And when you use this though, I don't know, I, I saw just a piece of it right now. It's sort of like a spider web. It has like the webbing right here, um, whenever there's like little corners. So just make sure you push all the glue out of the way so that it doesn't appear in our project. So that goes all the way up. You can put this piece down. This one I'm gonna use my bigger um, double-sided tape. This is 3M tape, I love it. So far it's been great. Put 
put a little bit more right here. So we're not gonna completely finish this project, but I will write down the details. I mean, basically it's just cutting another, recutting this piece right here and cutting the black belt. But I will show you the rest. I'll show you the card, the foam, um, the foam board and gluing that together. So that will, that will help you complete your project. Okay, so that's down and we, the gold goes next. So the gold right here, because it's on the glitter cardstock, I'm gonna use my glue gun to make sure that it stays down. So I'm gonna put a little bit there. And it's okay to do it on certain colors. Gold glitter cardstock is one. It will hide everything. It won't warp your paper. But don't use this on like light clear skin or on a light glitter cardstock. And that's gonna go over like that. So this one, because there's room here, I'm gonna use my glue tape. All right, so that's down. Let's do, let's do this piece. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. So on this one, I'm going to use my glue runner, my glue tape. And I'm lightly putting it down so that it, even though the, the glue tape is on there, until I really push it down, it gives me, um, I still have some leeway to make adjustments. So, all right, so I'm gonna put that down. I'm not gonna put this one down because this one is missing this piece right here. So, but I'm just kind of using it as a placeholder. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down next. It fits perfectly, love it. And this one, I can just put a little bit of the glue just because it's dark blue and it's faster. So I'm gonna push it up against this triangle and get it down, okay. And this piece, I can kind of lift up and glue down as well as this. Okay, now we're gonna do this piece, same thing. It is looking so pretty though. I mean, these colors next to the Christmas tree for your Christmas decor is really nice. Um, since I'm gonna recut, you know, I don't know if you remember, but in Design Space, it had multiple shades of gold and I made it all one color. So that's why these two buttons right here, maybe I'll change this for a different gold for it to stand out since we're not doing the belt right now because I'm missing the black piece as well. So I'm gonna put that aside. And that's the same thing with the hat up here. So it's up to you. If I'm already gonna change the color, I might change this one, but this one looks pretty good as is. I kind of like it like that. So I'm gonna scoot this down because we've got this down. Um, let's do the neck next. So let's scroll down and see what we have. So the red goes Oh, the red goes down here. So 
So the face is going to go above. So I'm going to do the face next because the face will give me, I have a placeholder for the ears, so it's going to make it a little bit easier. So see the ears have a spot, so I'm going to put this down first. And I'm just going to use this. Oh, here. Now, I'm not too worried about the face because the red is going to go on top and then the hat's going to go on top. So it just needs to it needs to have enough tape for it to stay down, but there's a lot of pieces that are going to sit on top of it. So I'm not too worried about over taping this area. Okay. This needs to go down like so. So this one it's going over the blue a little bit. I'm just going to do this. So that's down. Let's put the hair down. The hair kind of goes like that. So on the hair, because I know the hair is going to be covered by the black right here, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and let it sit like that. And then these two pieces, I'm gonna use glue dots. So I'm kind of, you know, cause it's light, I wanted to make sure that it stays down, but then I also don't want to, um, I don't wanna warp the paper. So with the glue dots here, I usually just grab it kind of like chopsticks, and then I'm gonna put it right underneath where, so that it doesn't move. And then do it on the other side. And then push any excess underneath. So now the hair is completely on. Okay. So let's get this hat. The hat's nice because it is, it fits the whole thing. So we know it goes like this. And then I'm just going to lift it up and do this top. And then a little bit on this side. Okay. Then this gold piece goes like this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. And then the rest of it I will do after I get this piece already on. So I'm going to let that sit like that. Then I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Actually, we don't need to lift it up because we can put this little guy down. It's so hard for me to see if it's straight. Okay. So that's looking really good. Let's see, what else do we need to do for the face? All right, so now we have little pieces like the ear. So the same thing with the skin, they had multiple colors and I didn't wanna do it that way. So 
I think it's okay. This is gonna be based on your preference. So my ears are the same color as my skin, but you can see it's an extra piece. So I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but I'll take pictures so that you can see it. I'm okay with it like this. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use double-sided tape um, with the glue, the glue tape here because um, this is so light your glue is going to show through so you don't you definitely don't want that okay so that's down so his upper body is down just not this we have to put the eyes and the face together. Now the eyes are in many pieces. He's got four things of the eyes. So I'm gonna pull it aside and I'm going to, I'm gonna start gluing it down over here. So let's move this out of the way. Let's put it down like that. So we have our different pieces. And let's start with the blue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Do the other eye. Um, and then it's the black. So that felt a little close for me, <laughs> uh, my fingers to the glue gun. So I'm gonna use this little stick. It's the We Are Memory uh, Keepers Quick Stick. So I'm going to grab it like this and then put glue on it here so my hands aren't anywhere close to this. And I just love this tool. Okay, so the way the eyes go, the two white pieces are like kind of in the top corner. So I'm gonna grab it like this. And on this one, because it's on black glitter cardstock, I'm actually gonna use like a liquid glue. So give me a second, because it's so small, I don't wanna use my glue gun. I'm gonna use this liquid glue right here. So let's make sure that it's working. Oh, there, it's working. I'm gonna put it down there and see this, I'm just gonna dab it, get the excess off and then put it down. See this tool is so awesome. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna dab it quite a bit, get the excess off and then put it on this one. That was so easy and I don't have fingernails, so. <laughs> All right, so we have that. Um, that's ready, so we're gonna put it down here. Does he look cute? He looks cute. <laughs> um, he's got his nose right here and it's more flat. Okay, then he's got his cheeks here. So that looks pretty good to me. So let's um, let's get the eye down. Let's get this eye down. His nose. Now his nose, I'm going to use glue tape because it's so light. I don't want the glue to warp it. So I'm gonna pick it up and put it down. Okay, 
Same thing with his cheeks. it over. Is that enough tape? Yeah. Okay, this red piece is super thin. So I'm almost tempted. I'm going to I'm going to use glue dots. So I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to use I'm going to get a glue dot. And I'm going to put it down, but then I'm going to um kind of scooch it in so that it's not going to be sticking out. There, that looks good. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. So let's, you can even kind of like rub it with your fingers like that. And then that way it's not going to stick past the red. Okay. There, his face is down. All right, he's looking great up there. It's kind of hard to see in the light, I think, but yeah. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna show you the pants and the shirt because I need to redo the shirt and the belt, but you get the feeling of like how to put this together, right? So now I'm gonna show you how to do the foam board. So what you're gonna wanna do, and let me move all these pieces out of the way he's not completely done um, all right so let's get that out of the way I think we're good now he's 33 inches so he's gonna be a little bit longer than the board but the hat is gonna be supported quite a bit so I think we're gonna be okay but we will we shall see in a second let me move this out of the way all right let me grab a board This foam board is from the Dollar Tree, so it's 30 by 20, and it is a dollar. Oh, you know what? We forgot to put his eyebrows on. So his eyebrows go like this. <laughs> but, all right, so let's put him down. I'm gonna move his eyebrows, because I think I'm gonna lose it. So you want to put him down on the oh, on the board. Okay. And you want to make sure that his feet are completely um, stable with the board because that, it's going to be standing up. So you want your bottoms to always have like full support here. Now you see his hat goes above a little bit, but it's glitter cardstock and this much is covered. This is gonna stay up even though there's no support back here. So I'm totally happy with this guy. So I'm actually gonna move him over a little bit because in case I need to use this board for another nutcracker, I will have it. So I'm gonna put him like this and all we need to do is get a white pencil and you're gonna trace the outline. So let me move everything out, all right. So we're gonna trace the outline I'm not gonna go in here and cut that. I'm gonna cut right around the, the hands because if you don't do a good cut, it's gonna be more distracting than just leaving it there. And because he's so slender, like he's so narrow, he's gonna be supported really well. So I'm not worried. Um, about this piece at all when we, when we cut him. And you'll see what I mean in a second. And I don't think I'm gonna cut the inside of this either. Okay, so I'm gonna move him to the side. And you see his outline? You're gonna take your knife. So I used the Cricut knife blade and you're just gonna cut inside the lines. 
So that way the foam board won't show through at all. But you see he's gonna have a firm support system right up here. So it's okay if you cut inside the lines. Um, and you'll see how quickly I do it as well. So I'm gonna face it like this and I'm gonna go And I'm almost tempted to not even have this little piece supported. I'm just gonna go like this. So you see how I went in the lines? It's totally fine. Right here, I'm just gonna cut across like this, just to get this piece off. Then I'm gonna continue my cut inside the line. Oh, shoot. Is it still recording? Oh, it's still recording. I'm so sorry, I hit the button. So I'm gonna try not to do that again. Okay, so <laughs> I'm still gonna move it here. Let's see, I'm gonna cut up here. Okay. That's his shoulder right there. I could have just done a straight line up, but I'm just, Gonna do that now his ears come out here I'm not even gonna bother I'm just gonna go up here up to his hat so that's one side of the nutcracker I'm gonna do this side <laughs> get it over here all right and you can flip it over to see why it didn't pop out um, I missed it didn't go all the way through in some areas And you see, we can't see the back of it. We can't see the foam at all, except for right here. But again, I don't wanna cut in there because if it's not a clean cut, it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be more distracting. And then his pants. But keep in mind, we're gonna have the red and the gold here still. But I'm gonna show you how to glue him down, okay? So we always glue at the bottom. I'm gonna scoot him over a little bit. What's going on here? There. Okay, keep in mind, we don't wanna put any glue up this line, okay? Or right here. So I'm gonna lift up his leg and I'm gonna kinda of stick in the middle. In the middle and over, okay? So I'm gonna glue him down. Okay, and just let it plop down. Cause we know we still have another layer coming on here, so it's okay to use our glue gun. Same thing with this side. All right, now just because of the way the, um, I'm gonna flip him this way because I'm gonna lift him up down to where we glued it. So I got it to right around here now remember, we don't wanna glue right here, so I'm gonna glue on the edges of the arms, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, and just lay him down. Okay, I'm gonna glue up the arms. And lay him down. I 
and he's gonna stand propped up. But I mean, look how cute he is next. <laughs> he's gonna be so cute. Um, I will put more directions down. I just had to recut some pieces because I didn't cut it properly. But other than that, he's super fun and super easy to do. So I hope you guys um, put him together. Um, post your comments, give me feedback, and then also let me know if you wanna see something else, all right? Thanks guys, have a great evening.